The Irishman is exactly what you think it is. It's a great movie. In fact, it's the best Scorsese movie since The Departed. But here's the problem that many of you might have in this fast-paced world we live in today. You need to go into it realizing it's a slow burn. You've got to leave the baggage of whatever summer film you watched and loved. Fuck Avengers Endgame. It's cinema but it's fast food cinema and too much of it isn't a good thing but sometimes you need that comfort food and I get that. But understand that this film is more in the vein of the film Joker. It's serious and captivating. You're drawn into the acting and the performances. And if you're a fan of The Godfather you'll love it. If you're a fan of Donny Brasco you'll love it. If you're a fan of Casino or Goodfellas you will love The Irishman. Now don't think of it as a heavy action gangster shootout kind of film like Scarface or Carlito's Way. This film is like Donny Brasco mixed with The Sopranos and even a little bit of Godfather Part 3. This film relies heavily on subtext and nuance which is fantastic as watching a great acting performance let alone several is pure bliss. The standout is the bit part of Anthony Provenzano played by actor Stephen Graham of Snatch and Boardwalk Empire. That man should have been cast as the Penguin, not Colin Farrell. Watch this movie and tell me why I'm wrong if you think I am about the guy. For an English actor to portray a wise guy from New Jersey is no easy task and he did a standout job. So in conclusion I give the film an 8 out of 10 for some pacing issue that could have been avoided. Some stuff I would have left on the cutting room floor but because of the star power this film has alone it was a joy to watch. But because I couldn't get through it in one sitting and fell asleep during it, that's a reflection on the film's ability to captivate and its moments, while stellar, are too far in between. Take your time with this one.